chamfer and fillet. Let's take a look at the chamfer and fillet commands within the modify panel. First, let's draw some rectangles. Go ahead and select rectangle. Let's draw a few on the screen. Activate rectangle command again. Or press the spacebar. Press spacebar again to draw one last rectangle. Now we have five rectangles to play with. In the modify panel, you can find the fillet. Let's go ahead and select that. And AutoCAD says select the first object. Or we are going to select radius. It says specify fillet radius. By default, right now, I have two. Let's go ahead and select three and enter. Now AutoCAD is asking us again to select the object. I will select this line and this line. And as you can see, it takes off the corner and turns it into a curve with the radius of two that we entered earlier. Let's activate it again. And let's do it one more time in the other corner. And let's do it just one more time on the bottom corner and see what happens. As you can see, when we click both lines to try and fill it this corner, it doesn't allow us to. That's because the radius for this corner is much smaller than the radius that we have set. So we have to go ahead and fill it again, select radius, and this time we'll go ahead and put 1. We'll come back and we'll try and fill it this one more time. And now you can see the corner has a fillet that we want. Another tool in here is chamfer. If we go ahead and select that. The command line says select first line or undo polyline, distance, angle, trim, method, or multiple. This time we're going to select distance. It says specify first chamfer distance. We're going to put 1 and enter. Now it's saying to specify the second chamfer distance. This time we'll put 3 and enter. Now we have to select the two edges that we want to chamfer. So we'll select this first line and then we'll select this second edge. And as you can see, as we hover over it, we get a preview. Let's hover over the bottom or even one line here in the middle. Let's try this line in the middle to see what happens. As you can see, it tried to chamfer that corner and it cut off the other edges. You have to be careful to make sure which edges you're selecting so you don't get shapes deleted just as we did right now. Let's go ahead and hit Control Z to undo that. We'll go ahead again, activate the chamfer command. By default, our settings from before are still there. So let's chamfer this edge over here, which again is too long, so it won't let us. So we will activate chamfer again. We'll go to distance. We'll put one, enter, and we'll put two, enter. And we'll attempt to chamfer this corner that we originally wanted to. And there you go. Let's press the space bar to chamfer the rest of this rectangle. And there you go. We chamfered each of the edges as we went around. But notice the first line that I clicked on and the second line that I clicked on. The first one took the radius of or the distance of one. The second one took the distance of two that it was cut off. Over here was the distance of one and then the distance of two. Again, the distance of one and the distance of two. Make sure that when you're entering the lengths of the chamfer that you're selecting the correct lines that you want to have with that distance.